Hello class, I decided to post a video this time about my chapter 19 readings and my week 13 reflection. So I'll go ahead and uh, tell you what I was thinking about that. I would like to reply to the Brookfield chapter 19 question. I believe one of the questions I need to consider when deciding whether to address a controversial topic is whether the situation I'm seeing reflects a larger problem. For example, I was leading a sixth grade class discussion about how students could address the problem of a group of their friends making fun of another student. One student, a black boy I'll call Jeremy, which is not his real name, suggested fighting. Jeremy thought the con one of the consequences of fighting the other students could be that parents would come to the school to take up for him. He said he would not talk to an adult at school because that would make him a snitch. I then asked Jeremy if there would be some situation in which a, an adult would be helpful, and he said no because he didn't trust the adults at school. Jeremy had no black authority figures at that school with direct authority over him. If he didn't trust white people, that would explain why he didn't think that he had any help from adults at his school. It would also ex explain his reliance on fighting. If you were a sixth grade boy who had no trusted adult at school, fighting would be your only defense. Furthermore, you would not want to be called a snitch because then you would have no friends to help you in a fight. Finally, the only adults he thought would defend him were his parents, coming to the school to take his side with the untrustworthy white authority figures. I started to see this as a sign of a bigger problem. I did not address it because I'm a guest in the schools. However, if I were a principal, a teacher, or a guidance counselor, I would want to address it. The obvious first option is to seek out and try to hire more black teachers, guidance counselors, principals, and vice principals. Since that would take time, I've been trying to think of another practical way to let kids like Jeremy know and their parents know that they would be heard if they spoke to me. My working theory is that I could invite all the parents of the black students to talk with me at a local restaurant or black church. I don't know if that action would be looked upon as discriminatory, discriminatory however, does anyone else have an opinion or suggestion on this? I'd really like to hear it. My reflection from this semester is that I've learned a lot from this course. I've learned that I'm part of a white majority culture that is often unaware that it's causing trauma to students of other backgrounds. I've learned that black people often cannot trust me until they know what I really think about their race. I've learned that my unwillingness to talk about race risking being misunderstood and labeled as a racist, continues a very unhealthy relationship between black and white people. I've learned that my power as a teacher can be used to further marginalize people or to give them voice. Strategies to give students voice include giving them an opportunity to creatively express themselves, such as with art or creative writing. Another method, method is to encourage students to share their racialized experiences, even though I know this can be difficult and may cause pain. If that's to be attempted, a great effort at developing community will be necessary so that the pain can be eased by the presence of a teacher and other students who are on this difficult journey together. I realize that getting to know students, their families, and their situations is very important to becoming an effective teacher and a trusted advocate. I believe that skillful teachers teach more than one in more than one learning mode in a class. I believe they're able to hold on to their own emotions while hearing those of other students, even when those emotions may be raw. Skillful teachers stay, stay in touch with their own souls, especially when teaching critical thinking. Skillful teachers take feedback from their classes while they're teaching and readjust their methods based upon student and self-evaluation. Skillful teachers never claim to know it all but they do trust their own instincts about their teaching. That's primarily my takeaway from this class. I hope you all have learned as much from this class as I have. Um, I have not always enjoyed the lessons, but I have certainly learned a lot, and I'm thankful for those lessons. Thank you. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.